Welcome to the Morning Update. I'm Erin Ramsey. New Zealand has paused the travel bubble with New South Wales for at least 72 hours. It comes after an infectious person travelled to Wellington on Friday and returned to Sydney on Monday. Anyone on those flights must now get tested and isolate for two weeks, regardless of the result. Dr Jeremy McNulty from New South Wales Health says they're still working to find the source of the mystery infection. It's a bit of painstaking work sometimes. Sometimes it's obvious right away. Sometimes it takes a bit of digging, but having been in the general area of Bondi Waverley gives us clues that it's probably going to be related to the broader cluster. The Sydney outbreak is now at 21 cases. Meantime, health authorities in Victoria have declared seven local government areas in Sydney red zones, banning visitors. It includes the CBD, Waverley, Woolara, Bayside, Canada Bay, Inner West and Randwick, who will now all be subject to their travel permit system. Western Australia is close to shutting its border to New South Wales if the Sydney COVID outbreak worsens any further. Currently, anyone arriving from New South Wales must get tested and isolate until a negative result is received. There is increasing fears of civil unrest in Fiji as their coronavirus emergency worsens. A street brawl erupted in the capital of Suva over the weekend involving quarantined villagers. Witnesses say it was sparked by people breaking protocol because they were running out of food. And a new study has found the AstraZeneca vaccine is effective against the Delta and Kappa variants of COVID-19. Research by Oxford University found it offers high protection of more than 90% against hospitalisation. AstraZeneca currently only recommended for Aussies over the age of 60 due to blood clot concerns. To sport now, and controversial Chinese swimmer Sun Yang has been banned for more than four years for breaking anti-doping rules after a retrial at the Court of Arbitration for Sport. The ban is backdated to February last year. Sun could return for the 2024 Paris Olympics. A crowd of 25 thousand fans will be allowed at all five AFL games in Melbourne over the weekend. Meantime, 15,000 will be allowed inside Amy Park for the A-League Grand Final, but confirmation is still yet to be made on the location for the match between Sydney FC and Melbourne City. In entertainment news, hot on the heels of her breakout role as Maria in Steven Spielberg's West Side Story, Rachel Zegler has found her next big role. The 20-year-old is set to star as Snow White in Disney's upcoming live-action adaptation of the film. That was the legendary studio's first ever animated feature back in 1938. Relief for Kendall Jenner, the model and reality star, granted a temporary restraining order against a man who's allegedly been stalking her for three years. And the Toyota that Paul Walker drove in the Fast and Furious franchise has gone under the hammer. The 1994 Supra fetching $550,000 US dollars at auction. That's your latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you this afternoon for another episode of The Update. 